waiting for the person to walk by before I wave to you. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am out on this beautiful day. I had no intentions on going out today and I really didn't feel like it, but it's raining. So I wanted to take advantage of that and go out in the rain because I love the rain. And you know, I'm still parked like quite far from the store. I just like to walk in the rain. Ah, so relaxing. I don't even have my car on because it is not hot, not cold. I'm perfect right now. But you'll notice I have my sweatshirt on. And you know why? I lost my winter shirts. My winter shirts are just like t-shirt fabric, but they're the three-quarter length sleeves. Well, they were long sleeves, like long gorilla arm sleeves, but I cut them. And every summer, before summer, I put those in bags. I mean, I have like, what, five? I have like five summer shirts, five winter shirts. That's why you guys see me all the time in the same shirts. This is yesterday's shirt. I wore it yesterday, and since I wore it most of the day inside out, by mistake, <laughs> thought, well, maybe that side is dirty, but now that side's on the inside. Um, I just wear, I wear the same clothes over and over again. I do wash clothes. Yes, I do. But uh, I, I, I just don't get dirty. I don't get stinky. And I can wear the same clothes. I um, always put my clothes for the season in some bags and I bring them upstairs. So today I went upstairs for my winter shirts and I cannot find them anywhere. And yes, it's it's cluttered up there, but I can see my clutter. It's not organized clutter, but I have a pretty good idea where I put things. But I looked everywhere. I looked even through cluttered areas that I knew they couldn't possibly be in. <laughs> so I'm quite upset that I lost my shirts. I, it's not like I brought them by mistake to Goodwill. Is that possible? Because sometimes I bring stuff but I just don't think I would do that. So it's like I could go shopping for new shirts, but then I know I'll find the ones I have and they're perfectly good, or I could make some new shirts. But what I've decided to do in the meantime is just continue to wear my summer shirts, probably all winter, with my sweatshirt and we'll be fine. So I decided to run out to Hannaford and I wasn't going to bring the camera because I wanted to come just for some bacon and then I thought while I was out I'd pick up some milk. But then I thought I'll bring the camera because it's going to be a very small haul and I'll just show them the few things that I bought. But now it ended up being a little bit bigger of a haul. And since I have nothing else to talk about other than my missing shirts, <laughs> I'm going to show you what I got today at Hannaford. Oh, I don't know where the slip is, but that's okay. I can pretty much remember the prices. Ooh, glasses, raindrops. Very busy in Hannaford today. I do not know why. Still wet. What the fuck, man? Alrighty. Gallon of milk. 372. Which is expensive for many people. Maine is a dairy state. We pay a lot for milk. My mother asked for. Well, she didn't actually ask, but I told her, I said, I'm going to Hannaford really quick. Is there anything you absolutely need? And she said, no, but I checked her cereal because I haven't purchased cereal in a while. And I said, you are like, you have like maybe one serving of cereal left. And she said, I want cornflakes. So I got her cornflakes. This was, I believe $2.99 for this big box. It's wet. I got for myself, unexpectedly, some tuna, solid white tuna. It was $5.39 for a four pack. And I just got the chicken of the sea because it was the cheapest and it's good. Every now and then I just feel like tuna. So I bought tuna. My mother has, I think, two loaves of bread in the freezer, but that's not enough. So I, I picked up one more. I would have bought two more, but I don't really have that much room. And I ended up getting some roasts. So I didn't know how much room I'd have for bread. They had some roasts on sale this week for $2.49 a pound. They're boneless chuck. And I like boneless chuck. <laughs> and they look like this. Because there's nice fat in chuck. And I, and I really like that. So I asked them for four. Because of course they didn't have any out. 
and I got four. This one happened to come up to 926 and it's 20 cents more per pound if you want it like steaks, but I'm just gonna cut those into steaks myself and good, good. What else? I know there's something else. Oh, this bag right here. Oh, I, yeah, I bought four of the roasts. I see them down there. But I'm not going to show you all four because they look alike. I picked myself up some uh, Swiss cheese. I want to say this is like uh, 336 maybe for the block. <sighs> I was going to say, boy, that cheese smells good. But no, it was next to my roast beef, which smells good. I got lucky with the roast beef. It was on sale for $6.99. I asked to see it, and it was like... There was it, 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 she was nowhere near the ends, and it was nice and pink. And I asked for it nice and thin, so I got two pounds on sale for six ninety nine per pound. I'm not gonna show you uh, the actual slice. Do you want to see the actual slice? Let's look at the actual slice. If I wasn't filled, I'd eat a slice, but I'm pretty full right now. Well, it's a piece of a slice, but I asked for it nice and thin, and it's it's this doesn't really look too pink, but it's not brown. I think the camera is, oh my god, <laughs> a guy going by and I'm dangling meat. <laughs> well, he's probably done that a few times. And anyway, okay, I'm going to taste it. Mm -hmm. That's how I always sound when I eat. No, I'm just kidding. I picked up two containers of cottage cheese. How come I don't know the price? Is it $1.99? I don't know. I don't know anything today. The reason, that's right, the reason I came here, what did I say I came here for? I came here for bacon. Did I say that? It's the whole reason I was going shopping. I bought this uh, bacon at Hannaford the other day. The first time I bought bacon at Hannaford, they were $4.99 a pound. The next time, they were $3.99 a pound. And I was like, okay, maybe they'll be that. No, nope, back to $4.99. Now, I buy the low sodium only because this one has no sugar in it. And it's so good. You saw me cook it yesterday during my snippets of my day. So, $4.99 a pound. That means that I'm going to um, try Shaw's has a sale starting Friday for $3.33 per pound. And uh, so I only bought two of these. And I'm going to try that. And it's uh, three for ten dollars, but sometimes Shaw's has limits. Fuck a bunch of limits. And maybe there's a limit of like three or whatever. I don't know. And I'm not going to go back and forth and buy a whole bunch. But I am curious to go at least try their bacon, so I will do that. And that is really it, folks. And I am super busy with the frenzy, so I'm going to just cut this short. I just thought I'd show you what I bought, give me a chance to chat with you guys for a little bit. And uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I'll be back with more soon. Bye! Oh, I have a whole bunch of new penny auctions on eBay, so go check that out. Link is always down below in the description box. And of course, if you're watching this in the future, I might not have anything there. But today is September 25th, 2018, and I have some nice penny auctions up if you like fabric. Okay, bye.